Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to another day. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time for God to refresh, renew, bless us. Welcome to the opportunity of a brand new day given to us 24 hours packaged in a briefcase of total gold. Each one to bless you, each one to open up and turn your life around. Lord, we magnify you. We praise you. We celebrate your goodness, your faithfulness, your awesomeness in our life. Take the glory. Take the honor. Take the adoration. Take the praise. Jesus, be magnified this morning. As we worship, build your throne in our midst. Touch lives. Heal, deliver, set free. Release your grace. Release your power. Nabashita yane. Nekoso pa netosa. Meka pa lo sheka itali rima bra no solishka pa ronte lishka ma bra doska dia. Jesus be glorified this morning. Bless your people. Let people as they connect from the four corners of the earth. Experience a blessed day. 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 To the glory of your name, in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I'd like to welcome you from all over the world. I'd like to celebrate the goodness of God in your life, the blessings of the Lord, the favor of the Lord, the hand of the Lord. On whatever platform you are, please try as much as possible to get friends to be connected. Instagram, uh, YouTube, and uh, Facebook. Like, subscribe on YouTube and uh, on Facebook. Create a watch party. Praise the Lord. Make somebody experience the grace of God. You don't know how much healing, hope, deliverance, joy it will bring to them. How it will lift their spirit and break them free from certain things. I'd like to welcome you. Bagada, Nigeria. Bagada, Lagos, Nigeria. Dagnum, Essex. The Lord bless you richly this morning. Uh, Spintex Road, Accra, Ghana. God bless you richly. I always feel like yes, he's the one that opened up Spintex Road. When we moved there, there it was one of the quietest roads in, in Accra. Today, it's like the Oxford Street, the really coming up street in the whole of uh, Accra when it comes to shopping. Because at the end of it is now what is known as Accra Mall, somewhere around Tetequashi Junction. Oh, I know Accra, I know Accra, Accra, praise God. Southampton, UK, the Lord bless you. Bless you. Sierra Leone, God bless you. Houston, Texas. Be blessed, highly favored. I'll be in Houston in July to minister for Pastor Toye. Dartford in Kent, God bless you richly. United States, God bless. Let me see where precisely in the United States that is. Uh, Pennsylvania, God bless you richly. Praise the Lord. Uh, Portsmouth in England, God bless you. Uh, Gege, Lagos, Nigeria, be blessed, highly favored. Did cut in Oxford, God bless. Cambridge, God bless you. Nairobi, Kenya, blessed and highly favored. Qatar, the Lord bless you richly. Oak Villa in Ghana, Oak Villa. I don't know where that is. Sounds, I don't know, I don't know where that will be. May the Lord bless you. Uh, <coughs> France, Bordeaux in France, God bless you. West Yorkshire, be blessed. Uh, Egypt, Cairo, God bless you. In the name of Jesus, West Yorkshire again, God bless you. Uh, Manitoba in Canada, Winnipeg, yes, was there some four years or five years ago. Praise the Lord. God bless you richly in the name of Jesus. Luton in England. God bless you in Jesus' name. It's supposed to be a master's degree in Ottoman in Manitoba many years ago. That's like 
35, 36 years ago. Johannesburg, South Africa. God bless you richly. South Horn Church. Be blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. Victoria Garden City in Nigeria. God bless you. South Horn Church. Be blessed and highly favored. Uh, all right. Malaysia. God bless you richly. God bless you richly. A friend from Malaysia. Place two in East London. Blessings. Sports must be blessed and highly favored. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. I'd like to welcome all those also on uh, you on uh, Instagram. Uh, it's not Instagram generally. It's I think it's maybe all the equipments around me here. It keeps giving trouble. And finally, it's set to it now. But welcome all those on Instagram. Be blessed and highly favored. Be blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. Uh, so this morning, we welcome everyone. I trust the Lord to bless you, to impact your life. If you were with us yesterday, you would know that uh, we had been sharing on and uh, speaking the prophetic word on the blessing. The blessing. The blessing. There's a desire of God to bless you. The word blessing is to empower. It's to empower. Yesterday, our focus was really very strongly on, on, on Abraham, whom God blessed and uh, spoke blessings into his life. And you are his children by reason of your connection to the finished work of Christ. So this morning, I believe that you will be blessed, you will be favored, you will have testimony, and you will have reasons to magnify the Lord. The blessing of God never ceases. His blessings rest on us. Today we look again at the uncommon blessing like we did yesterday. And by the way, I've done the book on the uncommon blessing. Yeah, I don't know if we have the ebook. If we do, we'll put it on the screen for you. Uncommon blessing. The messages I'll be sharing here was already captured in a book. It, it's one uncommon, unusual book. In Genesis 48, verses 1 to 20, uh, we see the blessings being spoken there. The blessings being spoken in Genesis 48. I'm going to like, I'm going to kind of go down. Uh, I read from verse 12. It was supposed to be verse 12, 1 to 20. I read from verse 12. Joseph brought them out from between his knees and he bowed himself with his father, at, uh, with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both Ephraim in his right hand toward Israel's left hand and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand and brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guiding his hand wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from evil, bless the lads. Let my name be named on them and the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac. Let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim. It displeased him and he held up his father's right hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, not so, for this is the firstborn. Put your right hand upon his head, because the old man was blind. And his father refused. I said, I know it, my son, I know it. He too shall be a people. He also shall be great. But truly his younger brother shall be greater than he. 
and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. And he blessed them that day and said, In thee shall Israel bless, saying, God make thee as Ephraim and Manasseh. And he set Ephraim before Manasseh. Wow. The blessing. In Hebrew culture, the hand matters. The right hand is used to convey blessing, to convey favor. And particularly when it is laid on the head, it is believed that it rests on you. Curses rest on people, blessings rest. In this case, the Father was releasing a blessing. And on this platform, we are releasing a blessing. Glory to God. Glory to God. What is the blessing? What is the uncommon blessing? It is that endowed power to prosper. The endowed power to succeed. What is the uncommon blessing? It is an endowment intended to bring a, a noticeable change wherever it rests. We established yesterday that promotion is a result of the blessing. Everything is a result of the uncommon blessing. And the uncommon blessing is something laid on you, not something that is just physically seen. A car is the effect of the blessing. A house is the effect of the blessing. So when you don't have a car yet, it does not mean that you are not blessed. You are blessed. We are just awaiting the result of the physical manifestation. The wind that blows the leaves is there. The movement of the leaf is not the wind. The wind itself is the unseen one. The interesting thing about wind is that until it touches a thing or reacts, we don't hear the sound of wind, we don't see it, but we feel it. So it moves leaves, it moves things, it can shake a whole plane. Many years ago, I was in Toronto, Canada, and I climbed the CN Tower, which is, I think, 114 floors. I think at the 100th floor, there's a place where you are allowed to come near a corridor to see how the wind blows. Some people have enough boldness. They put already a mesh and everything for you to go there. The other ground of the building, outside, there isn't any serious wind. But at that level, there's such a huge wind that makes almost carry people. You can't see the wind, but can see the effect. Same thing. Blessing is not, oh, he has a car, he's blessed. He has a house, he's blessed. Those are effects. You are blessed. You are blessed. And so when we speak it into your life this morning, we're speaking favor. We're speaking grace. We're speaking turnaround. We're speaking testimony. We're speaking uncommon outstretching of the hand of God. The smell of the gravy is not the gravy itself. When you enter the house where food is cooked, the odor is not the food itself. It's just the fact that there is a food being cooked. So there is a blessing. Glory to God. So there are times when, in the words of Habakkuk, the fig tree may not blossom. He said, we, I will still rejoice. Because the fig tree have not blossomed does not mean it will not blossom. And the angel answered and said unto Mary, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. The power of the highest shall overshadow thee therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the son of god in this place we see what happens when you are blessed endowment so mary was endued she was endued i want you to notice four words we are going to use this morning which are the products of the blessing the first one is endowment. There is a resting of grace when you are blessed. Endowment. 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 
there is a resting of favor when you are blessed. Endowment. The second word is empowerment. To barak or bless in Hebrew is to empower. To empower. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Then you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, Judea and unto the uttermost parts of the world. So the blessing is empowerment. Thirdly, the blessing is endowment. Endowment. So endowment, empowerment, endowment. That is to place like for somebody to be endowed with, sometimes we say this person is endowed with grace. Have you seen a three, five-year-old playing Mozart's or Engels' fifth scale of, is it ninth scale of death or fifth scale of death? Playing, you know, Engels' fifth scale of death. You know, da 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 I think that's the one that's the fifth scale or ninth scale of death, one of them. So, that's an endowed child. That's an endowed child. He may not be able to do many other things, but he's endowed with the capacity he baffles us. We've seen five-year-olds five go and play with a whole orchestra. A whole orchestra when I was in Bible school. It was, very, it was a hassle for some people to pass music. Yeah, Bible school. I went to, you had to know how to read music. Don't ask me to read now. I read that time. It stayed with me for some years. It stayed with me for some years. But uh, what you don't use, you lose. I mean, I don't lead choir, I don't lead. So, and uh, today's music is more of listening music. Most, most of the music in church today is just listening music, not read. 99% of the keyboardist musicians in our churches can't read music. They can't read. You know, I was taught. But this. Today I can't, but five year old, because they are endowed. May the Lord endow you with grace, endow you with special skills, endow you with special ability. You know, when people are endowed in an area, you look at them. You know, there's a grace on my life, maybe to challenge people to worship God with their seed, their offering, their tithe. Uh, so when I go places to speak, I have had. I remember one year, many years ago, first time I went to Abuja, Nigeria. I had gone to this all-night prayer meeting. They had invited me all the way from England to come and be the speaker there all night on Friday. And then I'll do Sunday, uh, Saturday fundraising for their building and then Sunday. Parallel from Monday to Friday, they've done everything. The crowd was just not responding. I stood up on the Friday night and just shared a few testimony and the whole crowd feeling what is known as Eagle Square Abuja came out to sow the seed I had asked for. The pastor and his leaders were too baffled. They said, what is the difference? I said, well, there may be another area where I may not be endowed with the gift, but this is my calling. So empowerment, endowment, empowerment, endowment. Then number four, enablement. It is God's enablement to be able to do what you could otherwise not do. You are enabled to do it. Now you can find that they are joist. They weave into each other. You are endowed and enabled. And you are doing the things you couldn't have done naturally. Praise God. We need to fully come into an understanding of the uncommon blessing. Then we will know it is not something to run after. But something to pursue you. Reba Asha. Taye Reba Okosaya. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Of the Lord thy God. Deuteronomy 28 verse 2. One of the nature of the uncommon blessings is for families, for generations to be blessed. Genesis 12 verse 3. This brings us into our text for today. It says, Manasseh, whose name means causing to forget my past. It was the one that he blessed with the left hand. But Ephraim, whose name means there's fruitfulness in my future. 
Oh, this man, this man, Jacob, really was led of God. He placed the blessing on the future and placed some blessings on the past. And Joseph's world, Joseph was reacting. Jacob recognized that it was time to pass the uncommon blessing, which started with Abraham, and he was now passing it to the youngest child. And the child, that's why we say it is uncommon. The child who was being prayed for, he said, child doesn't even know what they are placing on him. They didn't know he is now the next in line after Father Abraham, Isaac. And they will now begin to say, the Lord bless you. Uh, like Ephraim and Manasseh. And truly, truly, when you listen to the book of Numbers and Deuteronomy, Ephraim became bigger than Manasseh. In fact, I don't know which book I was listening to during last week, and it says, and Ephraim and blesses you, may the Lord bless you 10,000 times like Ephraim and a thousand times like Manasseh. I said, whoa, 10,000 times like Ephraim, a thousand times like Manasseh. So this morning, may the Lord bless you in a way that you have never known, in a way that you have never experienced, in a way that you have never, never walked, in the dimension that you have never seen. May the favor of the Lord open up for you this week, this day. May you be enabled, may you be endued, empowered, and endowed. May you carry on common grace, may you carry on common blessing. May you truly, truly know the grace, the power, the ability of God, the grace of Jesus Christ to, uh, to, to succeed, to excel, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he guided his hand wittingly with wisdom. May the hand of uncommon blessing rest on your life. May God put great of, 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 uh, favor on your life. May God open doors, doors, doors irrespective of your age, irrespective of your stage, irrespective of your age, irrespective of your stage in life. May you be favored. May you be lifted. May the hand of the Lord be so strong on your life, shattering barriers and limitations, silencing devils, shutting the mouth of lions, bringing you into uncommon blessing and uncommon favor. <sighs> we see from these two guys that the blessing rested so much on Ephraim, but his father, his own father took offense and tried to stop it. I declare and decree into your life today, no man will be able to stop what God has already planned for your life. For I know the thoughts I have for you, good thoughts are not evil. To give you a future and a hope. There is a destiny to you your dad and mom didn't know. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. I had not seen. Your dad didn't see it. Ear had not heard. Your mom did not hear it. It didn't come into the understanding of man. Your teachers who thought they have understanding. God kept it from them. Because if they know the fullness of your blessing and destiny... Some teachers might even try to manipulate. Some may try to destroy. God kept your destiny intact. I prophesy on someone this morning, you are moving in uncommon blessing, unusual grace. May the Lord of heaven, who through the hands of Jacob laid hands on Ephraim and blessed him, may he truly endue you with power. May he empower Power you, may He enable you, and may He endow you. I speak a common blessing into your life today. May you carry, carry grace, carry enablement, carry endowment, carry empowerment, carry endowment. In the name of Jesus, into this week, into the rest of this year. The morning glow is not just where we speak blessings into our life for the day it is for the rest of your life the days are going to come doors will open that you wonder when did i pray for this the days are going to come in your life favor will come to your life you wonder when did i ask for this receive 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 
But we release you into this week and we declare that today, Tuesday, will be a beautiful day, an awesome day. Evil planned by hell shall be cast over the blood of the Lamb. Today, Tuesday, shall be an awesome day. It shall close with favor and grace. Wednesday will be blessed. Thursday will be blessed. Friday will be awesome. Saturday will be restful. Sunday will be another season of God to start a fresh new week of grace and glory. Fresh new week of testimony beyond measure. Kapa nosko neda edeyado doshia. Ne kapa rosota braka zikeya. Zito yarabasha, tiri yarababosha, kale razi, kale proskia, ikare toda deliverosia, in Jesus' name. Yesterday we were praying the blessings of Abraham. Let us start there. There were 36 of them. We don't want to go back. But I want to bless you by the blessings that God put on Abraham's life. God told him, Number 21, I will multiply you exceedingly. I will multiply you exceedingly. Genesis 17 verse 2. I will multiply you exceedingly when you exceed. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. May the Lord multiply favor, multiply joy, multiply grace, multiply peace exceedingly in your life. The kind of exceeding blessing that brings a man out of the house of limitation into the fullness of his destiny shall rest on your life. You will excel your father's children, your mother's children. You will excel your father's house, extended or nuclear. You will excel your father's house, extended or nuclear. You will excel your father's house, extended or nuclear. Nayedosha. Nikabarados. Perutasikaya. Remokoshikaya. Retokapakodoseya. The Lord will bless you exceedingly. Exceeding, exceeding blessing that will make you to say, even if he does not bless me anymore, this is enough. Receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. Exceeding blessing. Exceeding favor. Exceeding testimony. Exceeding blessing. Exceeding favor. Exceeding testimony. Genesis 17 verse 5 and 6. God said you'll be the father of many nations. And you need to take that word as a spiritual blessing, not, ge not gender. God will make you a progenitor of great things, of nations. Out of you will come out sons and daughters that will excel. Sons and daughters that will excel. Your generation will never go down. Your generation will be mighty upon the earth. The Bible will say his children shall be mighty upon the earth. Your generation shall be mighty upon the earth. Mighty nations coming out of you. Ethnos is a Greek word from which we get ethnic. It's strand of nations, sons and daughters that come out of you. Excelling, 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 excelling in the name of Jesus. Excelling. Naido soya. Excelling. Nayota baboshka. Excelling. Norita limasha. Excelling. Number 23 blessing. I will make you exceedingly fruitful. Genesis 17 verse 6. Exceedingly multiplied. Exceedingly fruitful. Genesis 17 verse 6. 
May you be fruitful in the land exceedingly. And I'll make thee exceeding fruitful. Exceeding fruitful. Everything about you will be fruitful in this day of your life. By the blessings of the Lord. Exceedingly fruitful. Exceedingly fruitful. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Bringing forth fruit in its season. Its leaf does not wither and everything it does prospers. I told you the story. Lived for one and a half years in the farm, my uncle's farm. And there was a and there was a breadfruit tree by the stream in the farm. The place was always wet. So that breadfruit tree, the breadfruit had its season. When you cut it and you peel and you cook, it feels like yam. Then go pound it and eat it like pounded yam. This particular tree bears beyond others. In fact, I'm trying to remember if there were months when it didn't bear. It was just always bearing. Exceeding fruitful. It was always bearing. Always bearing. So if you didn't have anything to take home from the farm, you knew that that breadfruit will feed the household for that day. I speak into your life this morning. Exceeding fruitful. Exceeding fruitfulness. Exceeding fruitfulness. As the Lord lives, this day made the fruitfulness that exceed your expectation beyond your age. The things you never thought you would be able to handle are coming into your hands. They are coming into your life. The Lord will bless you a thousand times more. Deuteronomy 1, 11. A thousand times more than your fathers. Deuteronomy 1, 11. A thousand times more than your fathers. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Number 24. She, kings shall come from you. I declare and decree that your sons and daughters will be rulers in their sphere. Rulers in their sphere. Rulers in their sphere. Rulers in their calling. Your sons and daughters will dominate the area of their calling. Genesis 17, 6 says... And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Kaya A king is a, a person reigning in an area. You know, when we say basketball, we say Jordan. When we say golf, we say Tiger Woods. These are kings. These are kings. These are kings. And even today, that Tiger Woods have fallen in rating. is not number 50. I don't even know what his current rating is. And yet, I don't even know who number one is. He's still, he's still, and then Jordan have retired since, it looks like 15 to 20 years now. Others have risen. Others have risen, you know, James, whatever is the one there now that is reigning, but no one. This guy redefined. May your sons and daughters Leade kosaba, mera tosha kaya, eka koso kapika, maleshe kaya tado sokapa, ne poko sokaya taka. May help rise for your children. I believe destiny is what brought me where I am today. Exceedingly, extremely, usually gifted when I was young, but no help. No help. No help. No help. In a society, I just imagine if all kinds of help rose, if I had of believer fathers who spoke the blessing into your life and endeavored to make your vision come to pass. Another thing, all things work together for good. Maybe I will have missed my calling and thought, oh, who's going to pastor? I have this great gift. I'm exceedingly gifted here. But God knew a way of bringing me to the faith. So today I pray for your sons and daughters. They will not lack a help. 
they were not black helmets. It was very frustrating those young days. Very, very. When you knew that you were gifted, but there's just no help. I prophesy on your sons and daughters. People will rise from the far west to help your sons and daughters. People will rise from the far east to help your sons and daughters. People will rise from the islands of the sea to help your sons and daughters. A people you do not know will rise and bless your children. Your sons will dominate their sphere. They will find a problem area and be kings there. They will rule. They would rule. They would rule. They would rule. They would rule. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Le shikapa. Le poso se. Re koso kai. Ne bo shikai tinaba. Zuma pre toso kai. Je koso pore netia. Ne koso tia na te barosaya. Kings will come out of you and dominate their sphere. Dominate their sphere in the name of Jesus. Dominate their calling in the name of Jesus. God will bless you with sons and daughters that will leave a mark on humanity. 25. I will make a covenant with your seed eternally. May the favor of the Lord stay with your seed and everything that carries your name eternally. Genesis 17, 7, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. May the grace, the hand of God, the favor of God, the call of God never leave your household. Everlasting, everlasting covenant, everlasting favor, everlasting blessing. 200 years to come if Jesus tarries, that people will still say, that is the son of A, that is the son, daughter of B. Your children will excel. Your daughters will excel. Everything that comes out of you will excel. Even if they sold sand, they will excel. 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 Even if they sold sand, they will excel, they will excel, they will excel, they will excel, they will excel. Kaya tushunaka kikusha. Kaya makushukati tishtaya. Rekota kapa kato sekepa renota lita ni mazuch. Your sons and daughters will excel. Your sons and daughters will excel. As the Lord lives, may you carry the blessing beyond imagination in the name of Jesus. 26. I will be a God to you and your seed. I will be a God to you and your seed. Genesis 17, verse 7 to 8. This God is our God. He will be our God forever and ever. May the presence of the Lord, the hand of God, never leave your household. In the name of Jesus, verse 8 says, And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting, and I will be their God, and I will be their God. Lake Habarosha, anything that wants to exalt itself above the knowledge of Christ, it pulled down this morning in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood or principalities and powers. It says, casting down for the weapons of our warfare, warfare are not natural, but the mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down images or imaginations, images, and anything that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. We pull down every strange God, anything that wants to make itself a God to us. Money is not our God, it is to serve us. We will not pursue it until we die. It will pursue us. Favor will pursue you. Increase will pursue you. Abundance will pursue you. Money will pursue you. Blessings will pursue you and overtake you. Joy will pursue you and overtake you. Grace will pursue you and overtake you. Make up Loshea. Jehovah is our God. 
The king of kings is our God. The man of war is our God. The awesome one is our God. The God who reigns over the universe is our God. The one who spoke the universe into existence is our God. He'll be the God of your children. This morning upon this platform right now, Meti, Oto, Iskia, Reto, Pranata, Li, Senita, Li, Baba, Koskopian, Darita, Laro, Reto, Sapa, Leto, Kasakaya. Every son, every daughter that is at a crossroad questioning the Father's God, questioning the, the right to worship Jehovah, to serve Jesus, beginning to be in and out of church, in and out of serving the Lord. I send the Holy Ghost hook after them. I pull them back in, pull them back in, pull them back in. Every lie, every foul spirit, every confusion of mind is washed away by the blood of the Lamb. I pull your sons and daughters back to the Lord. They will bow their knee, not to social media, not to humanism, not to strange beliefs, not to the gods of the East, Hinduism, Buddhism, and all the isms. We declare to decree today every demonic entity that wants to mess their mind up, lie to them to get a religion or some Eastern power and reject Christ. We break the grip of Satan over sons and daughters who were raised in the house, who suddenly turned the back on the God of their fathers. We pull them back in. 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 And for those who are still serving the Lord, their eyes shall continue to be on Jesus. Rekoso, the ones that have been pulled away by immorality, unrighteousness, funny lifestyle they found when they got to university, campus, we break them free this morning. We declare and decree their eyes will be open to a life of purity, honor in Jesus, a life that honors God, a life that honors God, a life that honors God. A life that honors God in the name of Jesus. Your sons and daughters will come back to the Lord. The blessing of a generation that serves God shall be your blessing. The blessing of a generation that knows God shall be your blessing. If the blessing of the generation that have their eyes on Jesus shall be your blessing. Your sons will serve the Lord. Your sons will worship God. Your sons will keep their eyes on God. Every question they have that is confusing them, we clarify with the blood of the Lamb. We clarify with the word of God. Help them to be firm, to stand in the faith, to stand in the faith, to stand in the faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any son, daughter who have turned their back on the God of their father, children raised with monies that God provided, will pull them back in. We bring them back to the faith. We speak peace into their life. Wash them with the blood of the Lamb. No more condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. 27. I will bless your wife. Genesis 17, verse 16. We lay the hand of faith on every woman on this platform. Mothers, makers of homes, favor rest on you. Grace, grace rest on you. You will be distinguished. You will be a testimony. You will be distinguished. You will be a testimony. In this season of your life, the blessing of following the Lord shall rest on your household. You will be a testimony. In Jesus' name. 28 blessing. Same Genesis 17, 16. He said, I will give you a son from her. I will give you a son from her. Pray for every woman on this platform this morning. That which you will embrace, that which will be a testimony, a son, a project, a breakthrough, a business, a favor. God is releasing into your hand this morning. God is releasing into your hand this morning. That which you will embrace, that which will be a blessing, that which will wipe your tears, that which will make you laugh like Isaac made her laugh. Kaya Tosa, receive in Jesus' name. 29, she shall be a mother of many ethnos, nations. Genesis 17, 16, I declare and decree this morning, everyone on this platform, particularly the woman, you'll be the mother of many wisdoms, many visions, many dreams, many ideas, many projects, many breakthroughs. Naya Koshaya, Tika Lebara, Zititiela, 
Nesho, tisha, kasha, tushu, tia. Zikasha, takasho, toye, neka, barado, soyara. In Jesus, name. number 30. Kings shall come out from her. Genesis 17, 16, I declare and decree upon your life today, every woman on this platform. What God is going to produce from you will be kings. Kings of business. Kings of favor. Kings in sports. Kings in serving the Lord. Kings in finance. God will raise kings through you. Reigning, reigning businesses, reigning ideas, reigning sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus, God will breathe on that which is in your hand. And make it to be exceedingly fruitful magnified you know god has a way of magnifying a thing when you look at what he magnifies you'll be wondering where is the catch then you will realize that it is god that magnified this thing it is not of its own self it is god who magnified 1949 bill graham was preaching when the man was walking the dog and the man walking the dog was the owner of all the major newspapers in the whole country, United States. Man starts to listen to Billy, sees a 29-year-old or thereabout who was very fervent in his preaching of Jesus. Very fervent. And the man calls his newspapers and said, blow him big. And the rest was history. Whatever Billy Graham preached when it came to salvation was not with some uncommon unction. In fact, Billy Graham did not talk about speaking in tongues or the Holy Spirit. Just salvation. But God so blessed he became the biggest evangelist ever. When God puts a blessing on you, it's not who you are. It's just he has chosen to blow you big. Kings will come from you. Natasha Kabara. Rika Pakasataya. Jesus name 31 I will establish her I will establish my everlasting covenant with your seed Isaac and his seed Genesis 17 19 to 21 may the Lord establish you establish your household establish your family establish blessing your house for generations you reach places you hear that somebody used to be blessed used to be this I will establish my everlasting covenant with your seed, Isaac, and with his seed, Genesis 17 from verse 19 to 21. May grace be resident in your life. May favor be resident in your family. May the blessing of the Lord be resident in your household. May the hand of God for good be resident in your household. Your daughters exceedingly well. Your sons exceedingly well. Each one blessed and highly favored. Everything they touched, blessed and highly favored. Everything they do, blessed and highly favored. Doors opening, nations opening. Receive. 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 Receive this morning. Receive. Kabayadosha. Nekabareshekaya. 32. I will make your sons fruitful. Genesis 17, verse 20. No more indolent sons and daughters. I declare and decree this morning that your sons, your daughters, whom you are passing the baton to, they shall excel. They will exceed you. They will 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 excel. Our families, everything becomes ruinous. Ruinous. Treto shaka pateke to to se kapia. At the end of slavery. An ex-slave went back to the country of Nigeria. When he left slavery, before he left the land of slavery, he had made money. Went to Nigeria. Was one of the most known wealthy men. Single-handedly created a waterworks and drew water from 30 kilometers to the heart 
of the area where the elites lived single-handedly had houses and property but did not teach the next generations i was just being told a couple of days or weeks back that the great grandson just sold the last house but as for you and your household the blessings of the lord shall not cease your sons will be fruitful your daughters will be fruitful 33 i will multiply your sons abundantly i will multiply your sons abundantly may the lord multiply everything that your sons and daughters touch genesis 17 verse 20 and as for ishmael i have heard you behold i have blessed him and i'll make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly 12 princes shall he beget and i'll make him a great nation may the lord bless your sons may the lord bless anything that you give birth to some of you it's not natural children now it's the dreams you birth the visions you birth the works you birth the church you birthed may the lord breathe his blessing on it may the breath of god the ruach of god be upon it be upon it kazoba kazebi kazobesh Kazoresh, Kazorish, Kazokesh, Livaros, Metolekayeta Kababarodosia, Hirabashekaya. May the blessings be upon the sons, the carriers of the coming generation. And you see, it is the sons he said there, because they carry the seed. The woman is the incubator, the, the man is the seed carrier. Everything that carries seed in your life shall not die. Everything that carries seed in your life shall not die. Everything that carries seed in your life shall not die. It shall bring forth and multiply in the name of Jesus. 34, I will multiply your seed as the sand, as the sand in number. Genesis 22 verse 17. It's impossible to count the grain of sand. May the Lord so bless you beyond the countables. Genesis 17 verse 22 verse 17 22 17 may the Lord so bless you beyond the countables in the name of Jesus bless you like the sand of the sea make a kosher that that in blessing I will bless thee and multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven Jeez. nobody knows how many stars there are we don't have the strongest binoculars yet that can see the end of the universe. It doesn't exist. They just know that there are several galaxies, up to a billion galaxies. And in each galaxy, there are up to a billion stars. I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of their enemies. May the Lord multiply, not just multiply abundance for nothing, but your seed shall be abundantly great. 35, your seed shall be victor over their enemies, possessing the gate of the enemy. What seem to have been denied you is coming back into your hand. Favor is coming back and testimony is coming back. Neka, neka ko, teka teka barato sea. Reta kapa kutuna sakaya, tika teka le kabaro tuko sikenia. Reto kakapa katato rota kapara. It's a strange revelation. It's as if I saw somebody who they had a, it's like a gravy pot. And you had reached the end of the gravy. There's no more to scoop for your food. And I said, where are we going to, we can't eat this food without the gravy. How are we going to do it? And suddenly I saw like, it's a strange pot. It looked white, which suggests victory. Mercy. I don't even know how you are going to finish what's in that gravy pot that God was pushing towards you. He said, okay, so you've exhausted your, your, 
your dirty pot, your own pot, the pot I saw was like a tired pot that I've cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked until the pot itself is cooked. And I saw that the person was trying to scrape whatever was left over. And then I saw the, as if the Lord was sending this huge white pot. I have never seen anybody cook with a white pot before. I don't know if this is a pot. Well, it looks like, you know, it's not a cooler. It's huge. 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 And it's coming. It's reply. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive for myself. Glory to God. It's coming. It's a huge white pot. Everything prepared inside. In fact, it was also covered. So that it's not like contaminated. It's not wasting. You are the one who will have to open it. Nama de shikia balo soka etani kabrono ziara batalishin here. It shall manifest. Your tired pot set aside. Your pot without gravy set aside. A fresh pot full to the brim beyond your imagination with the best from the throne room of heaven. Receive in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, I see a family wiping their tears saying, so this is how God does it. And it was a testimony concerning, looks like a daughter. Looks like a daughter. Shall come to pass. Uh, okay, and then I see that another family was like, the breakthrough was such that now your daughter was able to travel to go do something. I don't know, it looks like a scholarship. Coming to pass in the name of Jesus as a second family. Number 35. We said 36 blessings. 35. Your seed shall be the victor over their enemies. Genesis 22, verse 16. Possessing the gate of their enemies. Number 36. In your seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Dekodozoya, Dekabakaji, Rematokosia, Rebokosopalia. The sons and daughters that the Lord will give you. People will be making them a reference point. They will say, be, make my sons my daughters like these people. The Lord will make your sons your daughter, your dream, your vision to be a reference point. They say, bless me like you bless so and so. Laramoshka, Idiadabata, Kakosun Kanka, and Toskelita, Di Baruna, Teleribaro, Rekota, Kapa Kosoya, Nebero, Sheka Ereba, Zika Palo, Zoka, Ye Kapa, Rotanadisha, Rondereto, Kabaronte, Kabarante, Kabaroska, Shiti Alaba, Redo Squaraba, Toshke, the Araba, Shetalaba, to Dalanasta. So shall it be. And these things will manifest and your eyes will see it your mouth will testify your hands will handle them mouth of the lord of hosts have spoken it two scriptures and i'll close this one number 6 24 to 26 number 6 24 to 26 the lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Again, I repeat for everyone on the platform, the Lord will bless you and keep you. The Lord will make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. God will turn his face toward you and give you peace. This is your heritage, your portion. The Lord empower you and keep you. This was the blessing that Moses spoke to the people. And he said, on this manner, you shall bless Israel. The Lord make his face to shine on you. That is the kail of God, the glory of God manifesting on you and being gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you, you, you peace. And the last verse. Psalm 20 verse 4, somebody this morning, this is a word for you. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. 
God will give you the desires of your heart and make your plan succeed. God will give you the desires of your heart and make your plan succeed. God will give you the desires of your heart. He will make your plans succeed. Make your plan succeed. Give you the desires of your heart. It's going to be a great week. It's going to be a great month. It's going to be a great year. I'm sure you were blessed this morning. We'll be together tomorrow morning at the morning glow. And you will carry this blessing well. You will not spill it. You will not destroy it. You will not lose it. Favor will not cease from your house. God will even exceed your prayer. Exceed your vision. Still to come for the rest of the month, 31st of May, Young Money. Teaching finance to the age group 20 to 35. Letting them know that their fathers, mothers struggled to have some comfort by the time they were 60, 65, waiting for pension. We want to teach your children not to necessarily wait for pension. If they listen, we are not people who, who say bring your money, we we'll double it. We are not money doublers. We are just teaching principles that people, if they apply, can truly make them millionaires. This is the generation in this our time that have truly prospered. And if somebody doesn't teach them, they will just repeat what they saw. I repeated what my fathers did. By just learning to work and earn a salary until God began to instruct my mind that I was called to do business. And I found that even as a young pastor in a denomination, Four Square Church, whenever I was on holiday and gathered all my salary and flew to London, I used to live in Africa. One or two musical instruments that are sold. The profit on one was more than my one year salary. That's what I want to teach your children. I want to teach them how to possess possessions, how to compound interest, how to multiply, how to have what took you until you were 60, 65, and your bones were rattling and rattling. We want them to be able to, if they want to, to retire at 35. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Take this thing and send to every young man, young woman. Mr. Tomi Ashimolo is a specialist when it comes to uh, counseling and training people on mortgage. He's a qualified mortgage advisor. And so he's going to challenge people to know how to get their mortgage, set it in motion so that when, as you leave uni, owned a property already before you were 25. And if you set it up well, within a short time, you can buy the second one, third one. By the time you are 35, you should own 35 properties. Oh, la, la. And you say, how can that be? Well, let us teach you. Natalie Jabangwe is a young lady. She's a KICC baby, one of my little kids, my favorite children. <laughs> when, I, when she was still in England, she used to know how to come and she, she, oh, she loves jogging like crazy. So she would jog to my golf course and got all her mentoring <laughs> during her jogging, read all my books on finance, tells everyone in the world that I mentored her into what she is today. She came to KSC when she was like 18 to do her first degree. After the first degree, she did her master specializing in uh creating financial platforms, e-cash, e-money. Even before it became this big and popular, Zimbabwe was already applying it. She went back home to Zim. And Zimbabwe was already applying it. There was a challenge with the currency. No, no regular currency in Zimbabwe, and they were using the U.S. dollar. But then they don't have the regular $1, $5, $10, $20 in circulation. So... Her company had to create the e-cash, which meant that people were using their phone to buy. You know, today everybody's making noise about China doing it. Just, I don't know why. This, this funny Western press will never cover some idea that have already blown big in Africa. And uh, 
Natalie was a pioneer in that area. She's moving on to another company where she will have a portfolio of about 600 million US dollars. Hey, my little girl is managing something big. Awesome, awesome. I feel really very proud. She's very, very focused, extremely gifted. So she'll be one of our speakers on how people can have their own startups in IT and SEOs and, and coding in any area. Technical startups, because that's where the dosh is, my brother. You know what I'm saying? That's where the money is. You know, that's where the money is. Just one idea and somebody's total story can change. Some of the things we have today were, were as a result of mistakes. In fact, the founder of WhatsApp was practically laid off his job. And while he was in his basement, he created a platform for texting. And that's why I call it What's, WhatsApp. You know, what is this? What's going on? And today it became very huge. So she will be speaking. Then I'll be teaching principles. If you took these nine, ten steps, can lead to you creating millions. And it's not about age. It's about capacity to manage, to handle. And I'm proud of the young people in KRCC and many others who will join. They have God. So on top of it, they have value before volume. So please push young people to register. We want this thing to be huge. Too many young people in our community are just doing the rat race pursuing jobs and there's so much discrimination against them so much some of them are so overqualified and nobody can tell me anywhere even in the west finds that some people have gotten the job not because they are better qualified but because of prejudice but then money has no enemy just like water has no enemy in the words of fella kuti water has no enemy Money has no enemy. It can flow anywhere. That's why it's called currency. It can flow if you know how to make money flow to you. We want to teach those young people. This, this webinar is free. This particular one is free. And it is powered by two of the things I started. KRCC and Money Masterclass are joining hands. And powering this is going to be absolutely awesome so get young people to start registering i don't even know which they were opening the platform i'm already pushing like they're registering today i think it is i'm not sure i think it's tomorrow that we are opening the platform for them to i don't know i don't know i don't know me i'm just my own part is to stand up speak or shut up sit down uh, my people are managing it it's going to be so much talked about i'm telling you they're going to go from employee to owner i have two i mean uh, uh my gym clothes were created by a young man in london who is yet to be 28 and he's already a billionaire let's get some of the kids around us to become this let's create some testimonies let's change the page praise the lord let's change the page so tell your son's daughters to register initially i wanted to really close the door and make it only for london but that would be unfair registration oh has started my people have just told me registration have started oh wow oh voila 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 that's nice all right um what else shall i tell you now tomorrow we have morning glow tomorrow night we have bible study it's going to be an interesting one uh so tomorrow morning uh, don't miss tomorrow morning i'm going to let you know what we'll be doing at the bible study it's going to be, be a blessing it's going to be a blast a powerful outstretching of the hand of god to stop some demonic lies don't miss it by any chance don't miss it by any chance so dio vous benisse the lord bless you richly dios te bendiga unkulunkulu agugu sesi and i say to everyone who's from zimbabwe mwari bakukomberere god bless you kingsway international christian center is a church without walls 
Join the KICC family online every day. Get up and glow every weekday at 6 a.m. at the Morning Glow. Dig deeper into God's Word and enrich your faith at the Global Bible Study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And on Sundays, join us at 9 a.m. for leadership, inspiration, finance, and entrepreneurship at Life Class. The mid-morning service at 12 noon. And in the evening, be blessed at the Night of the Prophetic and the Fearless at 6 p.m. Be a part of a church without walls with KICC. Join us on social media, KICC TV, KICCTV.org.uk, or download the KICC Church app. KICC, raising champions, taking territories. The world is constantly changing. How can the Christian remain relevant and grounded in the truth? The King's College of Excellence offers you a virtual Bible school with a difference. Harnessing the experience and knowledge of its global faculty of teachers, including KCE founder, Pastor Matthew Oshimaloo, students from every walk of life, those called to ministry, running businesses and employed in the marketplace are empowered with timeless teaching, tools and strategies that equip them to make a lasting godly impact on their generation. Our cutting edge curriculum includes teachings on the principles of faith, new creation realities, Christian ethics in life and ministry, personal development and spiritual life coaching, family life and ministry, and much more. Enrich your Christian life and join a global body of students at the King's College of Excellence Virtual Bible School. For details and to register for the virtual opening evening, visit kce.kicc.org.uk.